What's up guys and welcome back to this Wokey channel. Thank you guys for very much for coming back and taking a look and obviously what the thumbnail shows is yes, what other locations are going to be coming to Fortnite um, since obviously Tilted Towers has become Tilted Town. Um, I wasn't able to post a video just because I've been busy with my son and so forth so I do apologize of the um, leading to the events of Tilted or Neo Town or Neo Tilted to become Tilted Tower or Tilted Town. Oh my goodness. Um, so guys, we'll sit back and take a look at it. So sit back and we're going to take a look. So guys, looking a little bit more in depth with the new um, locations or location right now. Um, Tilted or Neo Tilted has become Tilted Town. It's obviously a cool different spin-off of the different uh, time travel, as you will. With um, there's a boat. There was a machine slash time traveling machine that had a shard in it that was being powered by a amplifier that was sucking power from Loot Lake, and then caused Neo T or Neo Tilted to become Tilted Town. Um, so with that being said, Tilted Town has this bubble over top of it. So when you go into this bubble, you are there's th some things that you're not able to do. You're not able to build. You're not able to use um, certain weapons, or you can't you can't find certain weapons in there. Um, almost the weapons that you're gonna be able to find are more old town fashion kind of weapons, um, kind of like the revolver, um, the M1 Grand, the double barrel shotgun stuff to that extent. Um, you're not able to build and you're not able to harvest. Um, so you're not able to collect more material. It's pretty much just run and gun kind of thing. And also your uniform, whatever skin you're using, becomes a old fashioned kind of looking, kind of cowboyish looking character. Which is kind of cool, but if you have to leave that bubble, you turn into your normal self and you, and you are able to find other weapons like normal. But with that being said, is there's been game files that have shown that other places are going to be changing, as you will, to the different past, as you will. Um, things that people have been wanting to see is again is Greasy Grove coming back, Moisty Meyer, the prison for one. I myself love the. Pr I used to love going to the prison. Um, Flush Factory, um, Greasy Grove. I said Risk Risky Reels, um, Tomato Town, um, stuff to that extent. And the reason why we think that this is going to happen. So the image that I'm about to pull up here, it says now entering paradise. But before this sign here, used to have a kind of like a palm tree, as you will, um, like a flat, I wouldn't say flower, but a palm tree that showed it was like kind of paradise. But with that being said, now entering paradise, if you look at the image, it looks like Moisty Meyer. So what I'm thinking is going to happen is this is going to be paradise Meyer or moisty paradise or or moisty palms or paradise uh mire moisty what whatever you have you paradise is not going to be paradise palms anymore it's going to be some version of a moisty mire slash paradise palms as you kind of like i would say more tiki huts um uh kind of like the oh, more hawaiian kind of theme um, is what I think is this Paradise Palms is going to be, which I'm super excited because I did like Moisty Meyer, as most people didn't really like it just because it did have not of a traverse terrain that you could go through because obviously you had a lot of the muddy area, as you will. Um, it's still of a Sandy Dunes kind of place, but I still think they're going to bring some type of that Paradise Palms or uh, Paradise Meyer or Mo Moisty Meyer is back to it. It would be kind of do cool if they brought a spin-off to the, the old prison, as you will, because um, I miss it. So that's definitely going to be one of those locations. There are in-game files as well as we've seen in different places um, on certain Google sites and so forth. I can't post those just because I don't want to be doing any copywriting for those people that have credit for finding these right now. I'm just trying to learn all the credit and copyrights and, and so forth, so just bear with me. Right now I'm just doing images of these at the moment. Um, but I've seen images of showing Flush Factory, Tomato Town coming back, um, Greasy Grove. All these locations are gonna come back, but they're obviously gonna have the time travel um, kind of 
time travel machine with the shard in it that is harvesting or siphoning power from the the zero point zone at Loot Lake and then using these places or using it to tra transform these places into certain time places. But what I'm wanting to say too is like when we're looking at Tilted Town, that was kind of the Wild West. I don't think each place is going to be Wild West. It's going to be like old time kind of things um, where one place is going to be probably a Viking village or um, a Tiki hut or um, Egyptian theme or anything in the past is going to be coming to these locations. It's not going to be all just Western as you will. Um, so Greasy Grove will be Egyptian theme. I I'm just throwing something out there. This is, this is not what I'm... I found but I'm just giving examples that these places are gonna come back but they're not gonna come back the way that they used to be so we're gonna get Greasy Grove we're gonna get Moisty Meyer we're gonna get Flush Factory but it's gonna have a spin on it so it's gonna look some similar but it's gonna have its own spin to it for back in the history kind of thing um, I don't think it's just gonna be those lo these locations obviously because Tilted Towers has gone nowhere um, it was t Neo Tilted then it became Tilted Town. So it, for who knows, Fatal Fields could be changed or Happy Hamlet could change or or um, Lonely Lodge could be changed. For all we know, those places are going to change. But in-game files have showed these or these images that I showed you on the thumbnail of those are going to be pretty much the high priority ones that are going to change. Um, with that being said, the rocket, I have a feeling, I'm bringing that up here, uh, if this works here. The rocket, I still have, I want to say this is going to be an in-game live event, that the rocket is going to come back with the visitor in hand. The reason why I say so is because the visitor has escaped his meteor tomb, as you will, because obviously the, the, the meteor is frozen in time above the factories and Dusty Depot, or Dusty Depot, Depo, I can't remember. People are all saying it differently, but Dusty Divot or Dusty Depot that used or has the rock or the the rock in there. If you you can go inside the meteor and find the tomb or the capsule that the visitor used to go used to be in when obviously the government was trying to con, or exhume the the visitor from that rock and he ended up getting out of there. He used he had to get all the hop rocks or, or the the rocks that he had to power up his rocket and so forth. But if you look at the meteor now. The capsule that was holding the visitor, he's gone. He's missing. He's not there anymore. People are speculating now. There's more images and also in-game content I wanted to bring on here. But yesterday, Xbox was down. So all that image that I tried to get for you guys was gone. So I do apologize. But you guys can go to Dusty Divot right now or Dusty Depot. The buildings are not completely the same um, where it used to be silver, blue, and red. Now it's blue, silver, and red. So they came back. They, they came back, but they came back wrong. Um, if you look at the silver building, the farthest one to the left, if you go inside there, it looks like somebody's living there slash building something slash building something or um, work or I want to say um, investigating or tampering and stuff like that with more hop rocks, asteroid rocks, and so forth. And people are leading to believe that Either the visitor skin in here is doing something, he's building another rocket or something some way, but the visitor is in this one dusty divot building, building something or what have you. Um, I do believe myself, I'm still putting my I'm still putting my money on this, that the skin that we usually get that comes at about week eight, week nine that you have to do challenges for or what have you, and it's more of a secret kind of skin, I believe it's either one, it's gonna be the black or the, the black version of the Ultima Knight, which would be super OP because they only have silver, gold, and red, which obviously they look OP as it is, but having a black Ultima Knight would be super awesome. But I also think it's going to be the visitor skin coming back as a different version or kind of like an Ultima Visions version or visitor skin, but having more something to him because he's been in time with the rocket since the event happened um at end or end of three or four i think i can't remember offhand but when he just dis disappeared into the rift um he's been obviously gone for this time so he's evolved himself and that's what i think is the visitor skin 
because looking at the visitor's skin right now, this is what he looks like right now. Just kind of normal. He's got this his face skin or his face. They can, you can obviously change into different things, but the visitor, he's coming up with something. He's right now. He's we can't find him because obviously he's either hiding or he's building or he's he's doing something. People that I've been talking to, either for fr uh, friends or family, or not friends or family. Um, pretty much, you guys are my family, the Wilkie family. Friends and fans are obviously telling me that yes, they believe that the visitor has something to do with this, and the reason why is because the visitor has come here to do change something or revisit time to alter it, to change it, to do something to our Fortnite world. But then also, I think he's also being hunted by what we call the Root Team, which is obviously the the, the leader or the gunner and the person that is. Um, Pretty much the leader and the gunner, which is the female skin and the male skin um, of the brute pilots, as you will. Because when we saw the screen of the X um, for season X and stuff, when we had the two different images uh, on the opposite sides of the robot, you saw the visitor emblem, but then you saw another image on the other side, which was the brute team, as you will. And I think they're, I wouldn't say going ahead at, at each other, but the visitor is either running and they are trying to hunt him down or it's the other way around as you will but some these are my speculations my predictions my my opinions and this is what I want you guys to do is comment down below let me know what you guys think come in my stream let's talk about it let's talk what's gonna happen because I definitely want to know exactly what you guys think like I said before we we pretty much hit the head on with time travel and all that stuff at the beginning with the exception of the moon um, as a possibility that the robot went into the moon but we pretty much hit the head on with the direction of our opinions and our predictions and stuff that we found together by talking it out and in comments and and chat and so forth so let me know down in the comments what you guys think this season where this season's going um, what you guys think the visitor skin is doing what have you I want to know so take a couple seconds write down in the comments what you guys are predicting for the future of season 10 um, and f pretty much season 11 that's going to happen with the new season or the new um, live event that we're going to possibly get um, sometime through season 10. So um, guys, I thank you very much for watching. I can't thank you guys enough for the people that have subscribed, that have followed me on Twitch, that have used support of creator code. I'm so close to 50, it's not even funny. I'm at 44 and for the people already that have done so, please Thank you very much for doing so, and also for the people for the future, please make sure you use code Zawoki. Do this every 14 days and hit accept, and this supports me and the channel for giving more giveaways and making better equipment and so forth, so it just helps that out with the channel itself. So I thank you guys for, very much. And for the people that have subscribed to me already, I can't thank you enough, but subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red bar icon and hitting that bell icon as well over here. Um, cause this lets me, or lets you guys know when I post videos and I pretty much post regularly, daily, pretty much all the time. Um, I don't have a set schedule. I pretty much post when I can, when I, when I find news, when I get new pops, um, new trailers come out, funny things come out and so forth. So pretty much look for those videos, but you just got to hit the subscribe button and hit that bell icon. Like I said, so you guys never miss a video and on every single video, make sure you guys comment, like, and share because I can't get my videos out there if it wasn't for you guys. And I can't thank you guys enough. Um, so thank you very much. Um, so guys, like I said before, make sure you guys put down in the comments what you guys are expecting to see. Um, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Keep it real, keep it safe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.